OK, so for us to determine sort of a better sense of functions and the notation and how it all fits together, let's just take a look at sort of a little word issue here and see if we can resolve it using the functions and function notation. So the question is, uh, we have a rectangle that has a length of L feet. And we don't know what L is, but it's some feet. And we're told that the perimeter, which is just the sum of the, the sides, is equal to 50 feet. The first thing I want to be able to do is to ask, what is the width of the rectangle as a function of length. So let's think about this for a second. We have some rectangles, so maybe it's like, you know, you ever have a bar of, of silver, really, you know, it's, that's a very expensive rectangle. There are cheaper rectangles you can buy. But if we take a look at this rectangle, then what do we know? Well, the base, we're told, has length L. And the width, we're calling W. OK, so there's our situation. And what do we know? Well, what we know is the perimeter is 50 feet. So that's just the sum of all the lengths of the sides. So I have an L here. This would be a W. This would be another L. So that's 2L plus W. But then I have one last W. So I see the perimeter is 2L plus 2W. And we are told that that is 50 feet. So now the question is, is width a function of length? Well, to see that, it's what we talked about a little bit earlier, I have to see if I can solve this for w. So let me see if I can solve this for w. Well, I bring the 2l over to the other side. If I bring the 2l over to the other side, I would have 2w equals 50 minus 2l. And if I now divide both sides by 2, then these cancel here, and I'm left with w equals. And I can divide everything through by 2 or factor out a 2. Maybe that's the best way to think about it. Let's factor out a 2 on top. I'd be left with 25 minus l all times 2, which cancels. And so I'd be left with just 25 minus l. And there I did exactly what I was asked to do. I found the width as a function of l. Because if you give me L, I can find W exactly by just plugging into here. So W is a function of L. Now there's a second part to this question. Let's take a look at the second part. The second part of this question asks, what is the area A, let's call A the area of this, of this rectangle, what is the area of the rectangle in terms of its length, L? Well, area, I remind you, is equal to just the length of the base times the length of the height, which in this case would be L times W. But I want it just in terms of L. Well, happily, I already know what W equals. W equals 25 minus L. So if I insert that in for W, then what do I see? I would see that A equals L times 25 minus L. By the way, let me just show you that I did not write the following. A equals L times 25 minus L. That would be wrong, and that's a great classic mistake. And the problem there is that this, if the way I wrote it, would just have L multiplying the 25, but that minus L is sitting there all by itself. It's a lonely L. But no, what we want to do is make sure that everything, all the stuff in the width gets multiplied by L, which requires me to put these parentheses to make sure that L is going to hit everybody. L is going to hit everybody. So that's a really important, important thing. That I want to make sure you see that those parentheses are actually hard to put in. So make sure you're familiar with that. OK, well, that gives, me, that gives me a as a function of l. I could write it this way, by the way, just to show you the notation. I could say a of l. This is just another way of writing the same thing. But then it really drives home the fact that a is a function of l. This is that function notation that we just talked about. And it's the same thing as this. You might say, well, these are different things, right? Because this is just a, and this is a with the parentheses. This just parentheses tells you that a depends upon l. It's just a little oomph for emphasis, a little oomph for emphasis. There's no multiplication here. This is not a multiplied by l. This is just saying a is a function of l, and here's the function. If you want to find out what the area is, let's say when l equals 5 feet, then all I have to do is write a of 5. And wherever I see an L, I put in 5. So I'd see 5 times 25 minus 5. And you can actually compute that. That would be 5 times 20, which would be 100 feet squared. 
So you see how easy it is for me to tell you, find the area when the length of the base is 5 feet? You just say a of 5, a of 5. That's the notation for this. But the answer to the question, the second part of the question was find area as a function of L. And so there it is. Or even this answer up here on top is completely fine. I'm just showing this thing here for emphasis and to also get you in the habit of using this notation, which, by the way, will be really handy and valuable to us when we look at other functions. OK, there's a little illustration of how you can sort of take sort of words and convert them into functions. And uh, also another little episode where we see the occurrence of this notation for um, a function, a of l, in this case. OK, let's go back.